if you're in this position, you know what you didn't have and you know what you did have. And more often than not, more people had more resources and more hope than I did. I take pride in helping people because I know how it is not to have help. It's about eight o'clock in the morning on this beautiful Wednesday. Um, I am babysitting for one of my teammates. I make it a, a priority to help those with children because I know that my parents, when they had me, it was definitely, de uh, definitely difficult for them to get their feet off the ground and be a supportive family for the children. My grandparents came over when Ronald Reagan had the Agricultural Dream Act. My mother, she would go to work about three or four o'clock in the morning. So she would take me and my siblings over to my grandparents' house in the morning and drop us off while she went and worked from about four o'clock to about 3 p.m. in the afternoon. My mother is a very loving and caring person. I, I owe everything that I, I'm successful to because she raised me well. They always explain to us, we're always working check to check, week to week, just making sure we can do everything we can to pay for food, pay for utilities. And if you can tie hard work with education, imagine where you can go. So in high school, everything that I was doing is uncharted territory. I didn't know what the FAFSA was. I didn't know how to apply for colleges. I didn't know that we could tour campuses in general. So it was kind of a, a struggle going through high school because everyone had a plan, but me and my, my friend group, we just trying to navigate the sea with, without a map. I'm heading over right now to take care of a yard, do some yard work. And the reason why that I make time to do this every week is just to remember where I came from and to know that hard work does everything for a person, whether you're in higher education or just in the labor force, being a blue collar worker, hard work will get you where you need to be. Being a first-gen student, I see as kind of a double-edged sword because there's the great sides of being a first-gen student. You're being able to change the, the trajectory of where your family and your, and your heritage and background is going. But on the back side of it is such a scary and dark abyss that you could get stuck in because you don't know what you're doing. It just kind of gives you a, a chip on your shoulder that that's what you, you could have, that's what your kid could be, that's what your grandkids and nieces could be. So, and you have all this freedom that you didn't have in high school and there's a huge margin of error that you could get stuck into. Going into CMU, I didn't expect to be involved with student government at all, but on the track and field team, I had a teammate, his name was uh, Bo Flores. He had reached out to me saying he was gonna run for a second term and asked if I wanted to join as his vice president. And right there at the time, I didn't hesitate. I said, yeah, let's do it. And I'm very thankful that he had reached out to me and, and made, made the invitation because I've made numerous connections. I've developed leadership skills in me and in others. And I've, I want to continue to serve this community and serve the school because it's given me so much. And I just think that that's the best way I can give back to the school. Classic busy day for me uh, is uh, I wake up at about 6.30 or 7. The mornings are used for schoolwork or athletics. After that, I go to class. I usually finish class around 11 o'clock to noon. And after that, I have time for my meetings. Just finished speaking at the Board of Trustees meeting. I'm in my formal attire right now, but I got practice right after class. So I got my track bag and weightlifting bag. And then or after that, that evening is dedicated towards schoolwork. Here at about 9 o'clock, and we're gonna knock out some assignments, try to get out of here by 11, 11.30, just to get ourselves ahead of the curve for the week. Last night I was on campus about 11.30 at night, just taking care of schoolwork, making sure that I have time to take care of other things I need to take care of. It's always nice to sit back and relax the scenery that CMU has to offer with a nice meal transfer meal. Just trying to relax and enjoy the scenery. It's very rigorous and structured, but I enjoy every moment of it. My middle sister, she tells me all the time, saying, I'm going to go do better school than you. I'm going to be more successful than you. I'm going to go to a more prestigious school. I'm going to be a better version of you. I tell her, like, do it, please, because it shows that there's a benchmark that you need to pass. My mother said that I didn't get education, but I'm happy of it. She said, I'm happy because I had you. And I think something that I would tell them 
the moment I graduate is just saying, I did it. And that all this energy and struggle that you've been, I've been through the past 22 years. We did it, is what I would say.